everyone. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. This is Katrina, the owner of the Theme Creations Recent Themes. I'm back to do another tutorial with you guys. Today, we're going to do another chunky yarn heart frame tutorial. Um, so when you guys come in, make sure you say hello. I'm Katrina, the owner of the Theme Creations Recent Themes. Let me know you're checking in, you're watching this video. Let me know if you do any crafts. Let me know if, if you not you don't do crafts, but you just like watching. I'm just interested in wanting to know. But today, like I said, we're going to do a heart chunky yarn wreath. Now, earlier this week, I did a video with you guys using the same material. And I'm sorry, let me cut this down. I'm trying to pull you guys up on Facebook so I can see you guys that check in. Hey, Beth, thank you for checking in, girl. Um, earlier this week, I did a tutorial with you guys showing you the same thing the chunky yarn with the heart frame and the sign. This is the ribbon we're going to use. This is the rope we're going to use um, to make the sport to be, be hung on. So, this is what we're going to do today. The video that we did earlier this week was this one right here. I'll show it to you. And now it's finished. This right here. This is what we did earlier this week. So let me hold it so you guys can actually see it well. This is what we did earlier this week. Let me move this out the way. And earlier this week we did the wraparound method on this, this week right here. With the chunky yarn, we used the, map, the wraparound method. Today we're going to use the, I'm sorry I just got distracted here, okay. Today we're going to do the in and out which is called the basket weave method. So I'm going to show you what the wrap around method looks like this. You just wrap it around the frame, that's all you do. That's all we did. If you want to see that video, check it out on my YouTube channel. It's up on my YouTube channel. The only thing about, oh it's not up on my YouTube channel because I wanted to come in and do this video which you hoping the whole video will show. When I did this earlier this week, it got to the point where we had put all the yarn on, put the sign on, but while we was turning it over to put the rope on, the video cut out. I'm having some issues with my internet, so it's, it's cutting in and out with me. So hopefully, fingers crossed everybody, um, fingers crossed, we can get through this whole video. But this is the finished product of that one that I started. So let's get started with the one that we want to finish today while everything is working great. So, you take your your yarn and you just cut a piece off of the chunky yarn, okay? You just cut a piece off because you can't fit all of this through the little holes, okay? Because you got to go in and out. We're doing the basket weave. So, you got to cut some off, okay? So, just cut a piece off, a fistful off. That's all you got to do. Cut a piece off. And then we want to start somewhere. And really, we can start any way you feel comfortable. It's fine. But we're going to go to this bar right here. And we're going to start right on that bar. And how I'm going to start is I'm going to bring it underneath. Right? I'm going to bring my end piece underneath. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to go in between the first two rows. So I'm going to go in between these first two bars. You see where I put the yarn? In between. Then I'm going to take the end of that yarn. I'm going to bring it underneath and over the next, the next row. So did you see that? I'll do it again. I came from under. And went in between these two bars here. I went in between. Now I'm going to come under this bar and come in between, up in between these two bars. Right? So that's how it looked. That's how it looked. And then I want this little end, and I'm just going to push this down, and then I'm going to glue it. Okay? And this is how we're going to start the basket weave. So, of course, you know, guys, you know I love my trusty, dusty, sure bonder cordless glue gun. So, if you have one, because you know it can go anywhere, so I like using that. So, I'm just going to hit the end of this yarn with a little bit of glue. Because you don't want to use too much. You don't want glue all over your yarn, right? So, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of glue, and I'm going to tack it onto itself. Ouch, ouch, a little hot. Watch yourself when it comes to the glue. Be careful. Put a little bit of glue. I think I put way too much. That's why it's squirted out on me. But that's okay. So here we go. That's the start of our basket weave. That's the start of it. So we got glue strands all over the place. So we're going to start doing our basket weave. So we got this. We know how this is. 
So this is kind of, you, if you started from the bottom, then you came over, you went under here, you came over, then you want to come back down here, right? You want to come back, come under here, and now you want to go over this frame, right? So you take your yarn, you come over the frame. And it's going to take a minute. This, this style of wreath is a wreath that I suggest you do while you're watching your favorite television show, your movie. Because it is a little time consuming because you're going in and out, in and out, in and out. It's not like the wraparound one where you just go around and go around and go around. So you, you come from underneath and now you want to go over this bar, alright? Because you went under this one. So this one you want to go over. So you go over it and you go in between that next bar. And you can take it and you kind of stuff it through to get more yarn through so it can happen faster, right? So now we went under, we came over, and now we want to go under that bottom bar, right? So we want to go over that bottom bar, now back in between these two bars. Because we're basket weaving, we're going in and out, in and out. So bring it back. I'm just going to pull it so you can see it. Like I said, this takes a little time because you're doing it that way. Okay? But I want you guys to see it. So now we went over. Now we gotta go under this bar, but then we gotta go over this one. So we gotta pull the yarn up so we can go over, we can go over this bar here. So we're just pulling the yarn through to go over, okay? I'm holding it up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Cause sometimes basket weave can be a little confusing. It looks gorgeous once you get it done, but it takes a little time. So I just push my yarn down on itself just to give it that tight fit. So now we've gone over this bar, so now we gotta come under it, right? So we went over, so now we gotta have the yarn to come in between here, right? So it's gotta go under. So we take the yarn and we pull it from in between those two bars right there. We pull it over. Like I said, you can reach in and get some more of the yarn that way it's quicker. Now, you get under this bar, we gotta go over this bar. So we got we go over it, and then we stick the yarn back here, right? So you can take some of the yarn, you can stick it in between it, but you gotta be careful because these little thin wires will pop on you. This is a Dollar Tree frame. That's why I say you just take some yarn. I hope I didn't tangle it. You take some yarn, I may have tangled it because I put too much at one time. Let me see, let me see. Nope. Um, so you went over, okay? So we went under, and now we went over. Now we gotta go under, all right? So we take it, and we go over, all right? We went under it and came over. See how we did that? We took this, because it was in between, all right? We went over this, we gotta go under, we went under, pour it back over, and now, see how that is? And now we gotta stick it back down in between there and we just pull it through. And like I said, you can gather it and pull it through. You just cut your yarn in small pieces and you can cut it less than what I did. Um, it doesn't bother me to do it this way. So now, we gotta go, now we're here, right? So now we gotta go under, right? So this is how we did. We went over this bar, we gotta go under this bar. So we go under, this bar and we pull it through and I can just grab some and pull it through so we went under that bar so now we got to go over this bar so we can take this stick it through the hole and now we're over that bar right so now we got to go under the bar so we can fit it through here because we're going over under over under that is what basket weave is it's over under over under that's all that is so now we gotta go over this bar. So we put it in between these two rails, right? And then we just feed it through. And we feed it through. What do you guys think so far? Hey Tammy, thanks for checking in with me. Yeah, I gotta be careful with that hot glue, Tammy, I know. But I done burnt myself so many times, girl, Lord have mercy. 
So now we got, we went over this rail, we gotta go under this one. So we're under it, and then we gotta bring it back. Because now we gotta go back the other direction. Right? So we bring it back. And that's all we are. We are wrapping these bars, but we're going over, under, over, under all these bars. That's all we're doing. And I hope you guys can see it. That's why I'm trying to hold it up to the camera as close as you can. See? So we went under and then came over because we have to do what? We have to go over. You see how this is over? We have, we have to go under this bar. You see how this is over the bar? See, it's here. We gotta go under. So we just go under. And I'm just gonna grab some of the yarn to bring it over quicker. So now we're over. And as I'm doing it, I'm actually gonna be pushing this yarn. It's a little spot over here on this yarn. That's not good. Okay. I'm gonna be pushing it down. And I don't know if you can tell so far, you can kind of see that basket weave. That basket weave look just started. Just started, right? So now we gotta go un we gotta go over this bar right here. We went under this one, we gotta go over this one. So we take it, our yarn, go in between. So now we're over this bar. Now we gotta come back under. So we take the yarn, grab what we can. Like I said, you can make your, you can cut off less, so it could be more manageable for you if you want to. So now we've come under, we gotta go over this middle bar, so that means we gotta stick the yarn back in here through here. So we do that this way. And you just take your time. Like I said, this is a, 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 a wreath that you make in front of your TV, your favorite show, and you just go over, under, over, under. Now I'm just pushing it down so it can be nice and it fits. I like mine nice and tight. I don't like my rails to show, and how you do that is by pushing it down and making sure it's really tight. And you see how you don't see any rails? You see, you don't see any rails. And that's what I, well, that's what I like. So now we gotta go, see we went over, We now we gotta go under, come over. Gotta go in that middle. You can just grab some of your yarn, stick it through. Like I said, to help the process go by quicker. And now we gotta go under, and come back through. So we went under, now we gotta go over. So we went over, so now we gotta come back through. And that's, this is just a repetitive thing. So we went under the bar, now we came back. So now we gotta go over the center bar. So we go over the center bar and back in between these two rounds. You can stick your yarn in. Just be careful not to pop the, the um, frame. I've done that, that's how I know not to do it. <laughs> I have broken the frame, yes I have. Not proud of it, I have done it. So we went over, now we gotta go under, go under, and back over the top and in between. And we're just push, pulling it all through. So we went under, over, now we gotta go under. Remember, because you went over, so now you gotta go under. So you went under, right? You went under, now we gotta go over. So we gotta push this through. So we went over this rail, we went over this rail, and now we gotta go under. So then we can come over this rail, right? So we bring it back through. Now we went under, now we gotta go over. So we gotta go over the middle rail. So we're going over, over this middle rail. Gotta go over and stick it through. And I'm just grabbing some of the yarn to try to make this process go a little quicker. It may get a little twisted, so just be just be aware. May, this, this, this method may not work for you because you may get it twisted. So I just try to loosen it up. 
So we went over. And what I do is when I when I come to the outside, I, I pull it a little bit. I don't pull it too tight. I just pull it enough. And then push it down. So we went over. We're going under this rail like we are. Going under, back over. Because we got to come back in between those two rails. And I'm just going to flip it over where I can grab some more yarn. So we went over. We went under it. Now we back over it. So now we got to bring it back through here, right? So now I'm going to grab some of my yarn, feed it back through. We went under, now we got to go over. So we stick it through the whole frame. So we're going over that rail here. Now we got to go on, we got to go over this one, right? We went over. This is over. And this is under. Now you got to go over. So we over it. And now we got to come back through the middle to go over that middle rail. We're just doing a repetitive all the, way, all the way back and forth. So we came up through. Now we got to go over, come back through here. So I'm going to flip this over so I can pull the yarn through. This could be a method that you can use. And you just pull the frame over so you can see what you're doing. So now I'm on this end. I give it a little, I pull it a little bit, just a little bit, and then I push it down. You see how it covers the frame? You don't see any of the frame, right? That's what you want. And now you have it, you went over, you got to go under. So we're under this frame, we're pulling the yarn under the frame and going back in between these two rails right here because you're going under and over these two rails right here, okay? So we're under this rail, under, come back over in between. I'm going to pull sections of the yarn through, try to be careful not to pop the frame. So now we have gone under, under, we have to go over, and then back under. We have to go under here, right? Got to go under. So we went under that rail, and now we pull it through again. How's everybody doing today? Is everybody getting ready for their work week? I know I'm not ready to go back. Weekends go by too fast. What do y'all think? I think it goes by way too fast. So we need to go over this rail, remember we do the under over, so we got to go over this rail, come back through that middle, remember we go back and forth through these, so we got to come back through that middle so we can go over that middle rail, right? And it's going to start getting tight to pull, to gather all of my yarn through. So now we want to go over this middle rail and back down. I flip it over so I can pull some of my yarn through. It's starting to get tight. Okay. So I pulled it through. So we went over. Now we got to go under and back over. So we under and back over and back in between those middle rails. Okay. I'm going to pull some yarn through. I'm going to loosen it up some. I don't want to break the frame. We did that. We went over. Now we got to go under and come back through. And we're just going to let this one loosen up because it starts to knot up. So we just, just let it loosen up. Let it, since I'm pulling it through. And this is what happens when you pull it through. It will start getting under like knots in it. So you just let it loosely fall. See how the knots is falling out of it? There you go. So I wanted to show that to you. So don't get frustrated if, if your yarn starts knotting up on you. It'll happen. Thank you, Beth. And you know, I, I love doing it. So I, you know, anytime you want me to do something for you, you know, I'm just a phone call away, girl. I'm going over this rail and back under because I got to come through that middle. This is what I'm going to do throughout the read. And like I said, this method is more time consuming than the other just wrap around. So we went over, over right and back under. So now we got to come back over this middle rail, right? So we just come back through the middle rail and I'm just flipping it over so you can see how it looks from the back. And I know this movement is kind of weird on the camera, but 
just want to let you see how it looks from the back so that's how it looks so now we went over this rail we got to go under this outside rail and back over in between the two bars so that's what we're doing Put my yarn up there so I can see it as I'm pulling it through with some more of my yarn gather it pull it through so you see we went over now we got to go under this rail and pull it through and we're going to do this all the way around the reef now it gets a little bit more complicated when you get around the, the, the circle part okay the oval part so we're going to go since we went under this rail we got to go over this outside rail so let's go over the outside rail so we went over now we got to come back through the middle right so we take the yarn come back through that middle and now we want to go over so we got to go over this rail we go over it and then stick it through those two outside rails so we went over now we got to stick it through the outside rails And I'm just flipping it over so I can actually see the yarn fitting through. And I'm holding the yarn down at the same time. You see that? See how I was holding it down, the yarn down at the same time? Because it's starting to fill up this piece here. And then I'll know how tight I want it. So I pull it. I know I want some more, at least two or three more rows in there. So we're going to go under the outside rail. Remember, because we just went over this middle rail, right? We just went over the middle rail. we got to go under the outside rail. So we go under and back in between, back, back in between those two rails. And just know you can do this basket weave technique with any frame, okay? I've done it uh, with the regular circle frame. I've done it with the, as you can see, the heart frame. Um, I've also done it with a cross frame and I will show that to you at the end. You guys are still watching at the end. Just remind me if I if I forget to show you the cross one that I did uh, with the Dollar Tree rope. So we went under this middle frame. We got to go over the outside. So we over the outside. We got to come back through the middle. So just remind me I did it on a cross frame I would love to show that to you guys so you guys can see that I normally do those for Easter so I got one that I have already wrapped but I haven't finished yet for Easter so we went under that outside I me mean, uh, under and back through and now we got to go over the middle and back through because that's what we did we feed it in and out in and out now we've just about finished this first section I'm going to see if it's tight enough for me now this could be tight enough for you right this could be tight enough for you we're already done with this section see and that could be tight enough for you but I like it to be just a little bit just a little tighter so I always pull my yarn down a little bit and go in another round so I need to go down I need to go around the outside of this rail and come back through again and I'm just flipping it over so I can see the yarn coming through the rail and I can hold it down to give the yarn more room to, to come through. And once it comes through, and I know I gotta go under this middle rail like we've been doing, go under and come back through the middle. And I'll pull it down so the yarn can come through easily. So now it's through. I knew I want to go over that middle rail, so I stick the yarn and go through the middle of the frame and go over. Now I'm going to do it one more time in this section. So I'm coming back through that middle. I'm going over that middle rail and going back in between this one. And 
And now when you look at that, look. You see how that 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 covers that little intersection right here? Where they where they meet at? I like mine to be full enough that when this comes up, you don't see that frame. I like when you, when you're doing it, you don't see the frame. So when I move on to this section, I know that little frame, that little intersection right here, that little bar going across here is not going to show. Because it's tight enough in and nice and full that it's going to cover that rail. So that's why I do that, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I do that. So now we can go to the next, past that frame, that little cross here, those bar, and then I'm going to come back and go in between these two, but on the other side of this rail now. Okay, so we're going to start this new section, and I'm going to flip it over so I can feed my yarn through quicker. So we're going to do the same thing, we're going to go under, we just went under that there, just to come over, now we got to go under here, and feed the yarn through, All right? And we got to go over the next row, the next bar, which is this one. You know that middle one, we go over. So you want to go over it and feed the yarn through. And we want to go over that rail and feed the yarn through here. And I'm going to flip it over so I can feed the yarn through, so I can see it and feed it through. And I know it's a lot of movement, but you'll get it. You will get it. And I'm just pushing it down on that rail because I want it to be nice and tight. So we went over the rail, went over the rail. Now we're going under and then back over it. We've got to pull the yarn back through there. And we've got to make sure the yarn is under this middle rail now. So it's got to go under and back through the rail here. Once we get it, we know it's got to go over this middle rail. So we give it a little pull. We go over this middle rail and then put it back through the next two rails. Then we pull it over, right? Because we need it to go over this rail now. We put it over and back through these middle rails. So now we're starting to get to the curve part, okay? So I like to start adding in an extra loop, okay? I like to start adding in that extra loop, and this is how I do it, okay? I take my yarn, and I go around that outside rail, just like I've been doing. But instead of me going directly to go underneath this loop, I go around the rail again. I take it and I go around the rail a second time. Now once I do that, then I go under that middle rail and come back in between. And then I go over that middle rail here like I've been doing and come back in between. Over the middle rail and back in between under that outside rail and once again I'm at that outside rail so what do I want to do I want to go around that outside rail twice okay so we go around the outside rail once bring the yarn through so we went around once right we want to go around again. And what that does is that gives me space to fan out my yarn because you need more material to do this curve. If you just do a single like I've been doing, you'll have gaps. You'll have gaps like that in between your yarn and you don't want to see that. So to fill up that space, because you need that extra yarn in that space, you go around that extra that outside rail at least twice. Okay, when you start getting to the circle part. So of course we do what we've been doing. We have to go under this rail now. So we go under the rail, pull the yarn through. We gotta go over the middle rail. 
So we just put the yarn through. Then we got to come back through to pull the yarn through. Because we want to go over this rail, what we've been doing. Got to go over this rail again, stick it back through. And we back out to that outside rail again. So what we want to do, we want to wrap that rail twice because we're still on this curve and we need that extra space. We need that extra, that extra loop. So we want to pull the yarn down, go around that outside loop once that outside rail once and then we want to go around that outside rail again twice and we only do this when we're doing these outside circular things whenever we need extra space you add an extra loop and you may need to add two depending on which wreath you do if you need the extra space then put it in see how it looks if it works it works if you don't need to then you take a loop out remember this is art you just you make it as you go it's fine so we've gone outside the, around that outside rail twice. We want to go under the middle rail and pull the yarn through like we've been doing. So now we want to go over that inside rail. So we put the yarn through so we can go over. We're back over. Now we want to come back in the middle. So we pull the yarn through that in between the middle. So then we want to go over that middle rail. So we can stick the yarn through and we pull it through. Once we pull it through, put the yarn down, pull it through, and now we got to go back over and around the outside rail. And once again, we're going to go twice around the outside rail. So we twist it around once, pull the yarn through, take it, twist it around again, and pull the yarn through. Then we want to go under that middle rail, right? I'm going to go under the middle rail, you pull it through the yarn through right even under now we've got to go over the middle rail and then back through when you go back through you want to go over the middle rail so now we've got the yarn going over the middle rail over the middle rail and back through so we're going back through the middle rail now we're back, we're over it, now we're under it. Now we're back to the outside again. And of course, we want to wrap it what? We want to wrap it twice. So we're going to wrap it twice. Go back through the middle rail. My daughter's down here peeking right now. So we wrap around the rail once. And then we go and wrap around the, the rail a second time. So we spin, pin, bring the yarn back around the rail again. Okay? Because we want that second one. We go under the rail, back through in between that rail, and then we go over that middle rail. So we go back over, we go under, now we're over. We're going to come back through. What happened? I know your dad's home. Okay. Husband just got home. Okay. All right. We want to come back through. Remember, this is repetitive. We're just doing the same thing. The only thing we're adding different than what we did down here was add that extra loop. Okay. So just know when you get around the curved part, you want to add that extra loop. How do you think that you guys like the basket weave so far? Look at it. Now you can see some of the detail. You can see the going in here, coming over, the going back in, and then coming back around. So you're going back around, you're going in, coming over, going in, coming back around. And that's the basket weave. That's the effect it gives you. So we're on that outside rail. We know we want to go around the outside rail twice. We bring the yarn through once. We go around it. We bring the yarn through a second time. So we went around it twice. And also, if you want, what you can do is if you don't want to make your yarn, make it as tight as I'm making it here, Another way you can avoid your frame from being seen is you can actually spray paint this, okay? So know you can take this and you can spray paint it white or red or blue or orange or whatever color you use in the yarn in. You can spray paint it that color. That way if there are gaps like this, you really wouldn't see it. You wouldn't see the dark green or black. You would see white and it really wouldn't take away from your leaf at all. 
So we went around twice. We're going under that middle rail. Like we've been doing. Nothing new. We've been under. We've been under. Now we're going over that rail here because we need to go over that rail and back in between. So we're holding it down. Going the yarn through. And we want to go over that middle rail. So we're going over the middle rail and back in between. So I hold the yarn down. And go back in between and we back to that outside. So of course we want to go around this outside rail twice. So we go around once. Around once. So we want to take it, twist it around again, and come back through that same those same two bars again. We got that extra loop. So now we want to got around twice. We want to come around here. Around once, twice, and we want to go under that middle bar. Remember, we want to go under. So we're starting to knot up, so we want to loosen this up a little bit. Just loosen it up a little bit with your hands. So you're going to go under that middle rail and back in between these two rails. Pull it back through. You want to go over the bottom rail. So we stick the yarn through because now we're over it and then we need it to come under. Right? Because now we got it under. Now we got to go over. Basket weave. Go over that. And we need it going between here, pull the yarn down, flip the frame over, and we fit it in between here. So now, once again, we're back at that outside rail. This is where we're at. Back in the, and I'm, what I'm doing is I'm actually pushing this yarn down so I can get a tight fit. And then I take my hand and I kind of flatten it out. I flatten it out. That way I can see what's going on. So I can see that this is a good tight hold and I know it's a little weird because my hand is in the way but I take my hand and I actually flatten it out okay so then you can see if you need to push it down more to hide some of the frame or if you're not right now we're good right so that's how you kind of do quality control is what I call it to make sure that it's, it's tight enough it's enough loose so we at that outside again what do we want to do we want to go around twice Pull the yarn through once, wrap it around, and then we pull the yarn through again. Once you wrap it around, we pull it down, and then we stick the yarn through so we can, oh, I'm sorry, then we just go under. Once we wrap it around twice, we go under that middle rail and back through. So we're under that rail. See how we're under the rail? Under the rail. Now we gotta go over the rail here. So we put it back through. We go over the rail and back through. Okay? Once we go, we come back through. We know we gotta go over the rail. So we throw the yarn over the rail and then we gotta go back in between these two. Okay? And what are we going to do when we get to the outside rail, which is where we're at right now? We're going to go around it twice. So we go around once, pull it through. Tame one up a little bit. I'm going to make sure we don't form no knots. So we went around once, right? That's once. And we want to go around again. So we bring the yarn around, and then we pull it through again. And now take this knot out in a second. So now we got it through a second time. Let me pull it down. Pull it down. Make sure we got it nice and tight. And let me just show you what happens. You get a knot in it. You just take it out. That's all. It'll work its way out. See? There you go. Easy peasy, right? So we did the double. Now we got to go under that, that middle rail and back through. So let's do it. We went under that middle rail. Now we got to go over that outside rail. So we send it back through. 
and back in between. And once we do that, we want to go over that middle rail. So we want to send the yarn, send the yarn back in between these two. We're going to go over the rail. My hand is if I can move my hand out the way. So we're going to go over that middle rail and back in between these two rails. I flip it over with my yarn through. Now we're back on that outside rail and we're going to go around the outside rail. What was that, Katrina? Twice. Yes. So once. Send the ribbon through. I mean, I keep saying ribbon is yarn. And then we go around again. Pull the yarn through. So you can use the ribbon so much. So once we went through, we want to go under the middle rail and back through. Right? We want to go over that outside rail. So we going all the way through the whole frame. So now we're over that outside rail and then we've got to come back through. So now we got to go over the middle rail. So we pull the yarn over the middle rail and back through. I'm turning it over so you can see the yarn coming through. The two bars right here, this is where the yarn is coming through. So now we have that outside. What do we want to do? We want to wrap twice. So we hold the yarn down a little bit and we just I flip it over so you can see what we're doing. And I'm pulling the yarn down so we can have room. And I went around once and then I'm going to go around again. And when I go around that second time, I know I want to go under this middle rail and back through. So that's what we're doing. Like I said, this wreath, this style of making a wreath, whether you use twine, rope, or yarn, it's just repetitive. Once you get it, you got it. So we know we've got to go around the outside rail and back through in between here. Right? So we just do that. It's repetitive motion. So we went there, and then we got to go over this metal frame and back through. So I flip it over, and I come back through that middle. And once again, where are we at that outside rail, right? So we have that outside rail. So what we want to do, we want to go around twice. So in that outside rail, I'm going to bring it around once. And then I'm gonna bring it around a second time. And I'm sorry about all the movement, but when you're doing this wreath, you're gonna have movement. So now we have it. And as you can see, you see how the gaps are? You see how it's moving and it has gaps? The gaps will be worse if we didn't do that second loop. And you see how once I push it down to spread it out, once I spread out that that yarn, keep wanting to say ribbon. You see how it fills in the gaps? Fills in the gaps. Right? So, you know, I want to do it one more time. Right? So, I know I got to go under this middle rail and bring the yarn through. So, that's what I'm doing. And it's starting to get tight here. Just like it got tight at this bar here. But you want that. Okay? You want your yarn to be tight. And you come back, you bring your yarn through the middle because you got to go over that middle rail right here. You got that, that last rail you want to go over. And then I pull my yarn down and stick it back through. So we're still on this side of this rail here. See this rail right here? We're on this side. You know we got to go over this rail. So we're going to stick the yarn, go over it, and stick the yarn through. So now the yarn is over that rail and we're to that outside and this is what we're going to do. We're going to go under that outside rail and back through on this side of that rail, on this, this side of this, this section right here. We're still going to go back through. We're going to pull the yarn down and make some space and pull the yarn back through. And I'm doing that so the yarn will be tight and I won't have any gaps around this curve. Now you see that? Now you don't even see that rail. See how when you make it tight, 
the yarn just fills up right over that rail just like it did down here you don't want the gap so you can see the rails so I make it a little tight you pull it down you squeeze the yarn but you make it a little tight and it'll fit right in so now we just once we fit it in that once right we're just gonna come back through and we're gonna start because I don't need to do it twice right because this is this is this is tight enough or you can let's see if you pull it down you can get one more you can go around one more time if you want and let's just say let's just go around one more time so we went around once right this is the bottom of it and then we're gonna go around again because we've been doing it twice around the circular part so we go around we know we got to go under right so we know we got to go under so let's pull this yarn down and go under we know we got to go over this rail but what we're going to do once we get to this rail is we're going to come up on this side of this rail here we're going to come up on the opposite side so we go over I think it's tight enough then we're going to come up on the other side of that that rail that section okay we're going to come up in the next section we're going to go over the middle form the middle rail rather and go over and then come through and I'm just flipping it over so you can see how it looks when you're coming through the back we're going under and we're going to go under and we're going to go over twice just like we've been doing. So we over we around it once, and then we're gonna go over and come around again. And like I said, you do that to give yourself the extra space you need on these curves. So I hold it over, I go under that middle rail and back through. You know we gotta go over this rail here so we go pull it through and then we come back through it we know we got to go over the middle rail so we take the yarn put over that middle rail and back through and like I said this gets very repetitive we're back to that outside rail and we want to go over that outside rail now so it gets a little tricky not not really but you see how now we're at this crease we want to make sure everything is tight so we go over it twice again so we went over once we take it and we go over it again we go under and the reason why we do that is because we want when all the yarn is leaning here we want it to fill up this 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 curve here and as you can see that's what it does it fills up that curve it gives it a little tension and fills up that curve right so we're going under this middle rail and back down so now we were doing twice right here on the outside because it was wider on the outside but now look we're here and we still got all the space so what do you think we need to do now that we're here and we got all the space we need to go over this rail That way you won't have any gaps. So we go over the rail once, you come around, and you come around again. And you give yourself that space that you need. Because we need a little bit more yarn on this space that comes out. You need to go over this middle rail. So you're gonna bring the yarn in and in between. I'm going to bring it over that middle rail and in between. We're going to come around this middle section. We're going to come around the outside. So this outside right now, this is tight. I don't need to go over it twice because I'm trying to work on getting that filled up, right? We can push it down if we want and we can go over it. So we're going to go over it once and go in between. We're going to concentrate on going over twice in the middle now. So we got it over once. We come under back through and I'm hoping you guys can see this go back down we got to fill up that middle section 
and I'm just squeezing it down to make sure I don't have it so tight so we want to go down one more time on this side right middle section and we're going to come around once and we're going to come around a second time and that's going to fill up that middle section so we go down once and we want to go around again so we go around again we go around again then we know we want to go around this middle bar we're going to go over the middle bar and back through and then over the outside see how we we under this this outside bar like we've been doing the whole thing and we want to go over it we're still only going over it once remember now it's changing where you see it's less space here and more space here right I don't know if you can see it really well but it's less wire here frame and more frame here so when you don't have the same amount of frame like this this is more frame here than it is in between these two spaces right so right now we don't have to double up on this end but we need to double up on this end so we just go over this once we come under and in between and, and that's the, like the little tricky part you got to know when to switch over where you add your new your your the extra loop back that's all and we go we go around once and then we go around twice when we go around twice when we get that in we want to go back because we want to go over this rail so we went over the rail and back in between see over the rail and back in between so you see how that is so then now we back over that rail and we want to go around the outside and back in between once we go around the outside we want to go under that middle rail right and that's how that looks I'm just pulling it through because when you do that sometimes it don't it's got to look good you gotta make sure you pull it tight enough so it's even with everything else we want to go on over this rail here and back through you want to go over the rail again and back through you want to go over this middle rail over the middle rail See how that came over the middle rail? We gotta go under the outside rail and back through. So now, let me show you this. Now, you, you see how it's almost even now? The amount of space with the rails? Because you made that bump out here. So now it's almost even. So that's what you, you're trying to do when you wrap the rail twice. It's trying to make these, these two rails on the outer and the inner even. Right? So we're going underneath and back through. Like we've been doing. Like I said, this gets very repetitive. We go under and back through the middle. You know, we gotta go over that outside rail and back through. And we're only doing it once this time because remember, we got the space almost even. We don't need to make extra space down here anymore, right? So we gotta go under and then back through. You just got to know when to add the extra loop and when not to add the extra loop and where. To the outside to the inside. We're going to go over that middle rail and back through. And like I said, this is a, 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 a design that you do when you're watching TV. You're going to go out oh, underneath that outside rail and then back in between here on this side of that section. The section we've been working on, we're going to come back inside that section. We're not ready to move on to that next section yet. I like to make sure it's nice and tight. Hey Amanda, thanks for watching. Hey Dwayne, hey cuz. Thanks for watching. What do y'all think so far? So now we want to go under that middle rail and back through. We want to go over that outside rail and back through again. On this side, the same side of that section of the section that we're working on we're going to come back through we want to go over the rail so we put the end where the yarn is going to go over that rail and now it's going over the rail 
and we're going to go back around the outside of this loop. So now we want to see. Let's put it down. Let's squeeze it down. Let's see if what we did so far is good. We're more than halfway through. Is it time consuming? Yes. But we're more than halfway through. So what do you guys think? You guys think it look alright so far? Do you really see a basket weave? The technique is a little different than the just wrap around. It's a little bit more to it. That's why normally if you purchase these weaves separately, they may be a little less I mean they may be a little more expensive than just the wrap around because there's a lot more that goes into this and trying to figure out how to put it in this is more more time consuming than just the wrap wrap around. So we see we have it. Um I think I may want to go around this just just one loop right here just to make it inside that section we was already working on. It's just one more time. So I pull it down one more and then went to that rail. Now I'm going to go over the middle. I mean, I want to go under the middle rail. So I'm sticking it under and coming through this way. And then I'm going to go over the middle rail, which is right there. And what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to start on this side of that rail now. I'm going to start on this side. I'm not going to come back on this side. So we got to go over that rail and back through on the next in the next section. Take the yarn, keep it over, and we're going to go under. Now, it doesn't look like this is covering. Look at it. Doesn't look like this is covering right now, right? So do I want to go over or do I want to still work in this area right here? So what you can do is you can start fluffing up your yarn. Maybe you flattened it out too much where it's not fluffed enough. So you see how I'm sticking my hands underneath and I'm pushing the yarn up? That fluffs up your yarn. So that's a technique. You see how it's fluffing up the yarn? It's fluffing it up. And when I fluff it up, now you see that rail has disappeared. So now we, we went over, now we got to come under, now we got to go over the middle rail, we came back through, now we want to come over. So now, you know this is more space on that outer rail. So what we got to do is we got to wrap it twice. So we come around that outside once. We come that come around that outside again. Come around, we go under that middle rail and come through. We know we want to go over this inside rail, so we bring the yarn over it and back through. We know we need to go over this middle rail and come back through. Remember we got under over. So now we gotta go over this middle rail with the yarn. So we go over and we come under the outside rail and we want to come under that outside rail twice. So we come around once and we come around twice. That outside rail. I'll push it over into each other, then I want to come under. You got to go under that middle rail. And you got to come over this inside rail. So we pull the yarn in. So we're coming over that inside rail. Coming back under in between here. And we want to go in between here because we got to go over. Right? So this has got to go over. So we put it over. And we got to go under the outside rail. And what we're going to do, go over the outside rail twice. Once and then twice. And we do it the second time. We need to go over this middle rail. Go under the middle rail, rather. And through. We know we got to go over this inner rail. Go over and we come back through. We know we got to go over the middle rail, so we go over the middle rail and go back down and go through. We got to go under the outside rail, right? So we're going to go under the outside rail and over. We're going to go over that outside rail twice. That's once, and this is twice. Okay, they came. Okay, good. Okay, I guess the other ones are coming. So, you see how we have that so far? See how that middle rail 
that rail that was there is covered and your basket weave is continued. There you go. Your basket weave has continued. Now we want to go under that middle rail and through, go over the, the outside rail, back through. You want to go over the middle rail and through. Go under the outside rail twice. And go under once. You go under twice. And then you take the yarn, you go under the middle rail, over the middle rail. You go, so you go under this middle rail, over that inside rail, and back through. Come over the middle rail and under the outside rail. And you're going to go under the outside rail twice. One, two. You want to go under the middle rail, come through. You want to go over the inside rail, come through. You want to go over the middle rail, come through. Go under the outside rail once, twice. Come under the middle rail, come through. Come over the inside rail, come through. Go over the middle rail. Come through, go under the outside rail once, twice. Go under the middle rail, you wanna go over the inside rail, come through. You wanna go over the middle rail and come through. And then you wanna wrap the outside rail once, twice. Now, at this point, you know we need some more yarn. All right? finish the basket. You now we need some more yarn. So what we do, is we go and we get a piece of yarn and figure out how much you think you're gonna need to finish off this, this wreath. And I would guess about that. If we need to add more, we can add more. And what I do at this point is I want my knot to be at the back. So I may pull this through so it goes under, and you have this, it goes under, the next thing is for to go under, and then go back over the outside rail. So I'm gonna tie my knot right here, I'm gonna connect it. So I'm gonna bring it here, I'm gonna tie my knot, and I'm gonna connect it. Matter of fact, I, I will connect it. And you just tie a knot. Knot. I don't want to be comfortable with it. You pull it real tight, both ends, you pull it, you pull it. It's good. You gotta go under. And that knot was supposed to be to the back and it's not but it's not it's not supposed to be showing, so I'm gonna have to find a better location. And if that's happened, then let me just show you what you do. You have to make the knot where it's here. So the knot is here. So you gotta bring the knot where it's here. Sometimes you gotta play around with it, it's not a big deal. I'm kind of glad that happened because then now you can see what happened. So if you do this knot this way, right? Now you know it's under. It's not going to show. You got to come under here. So I can tighten that up. Right? Tighten it up. So you know you got to go under that middle rail. And now it's going to take us longer to get this through. Because we added more, I mean, new yarn. And you gotta go over that inside rail. So we're going over the inside rail. We're gonna come back through. So we're just continuing the basket weave. This is all we're doing. We just added some more yarn. And we're continuing the basket weave. And we gotta go over the middle and back through. I can actually flip it. I'm gonna flip it around so we can see what we're doing now. This is where we tied it. This is gonna be hidden. Nobody's gonna see that. So we want to go over that middle rail and want to feed this through. This is the back of it. And then when we go under this outside rail, we want to do it what? Twice. So we're gonna go un over it once, go around it once. then go around it again. And we 
go around it, I'm going to flip it over so you can see what I'm doing. So now we got to go under, under this middle rail and pull it back through. And as you can see, I'm not holding it. You see how that gap form right there? Trust me, it's going to, we're going to fill that in. It's not going to stay that way. When we get to the end, we know we got to go around the, the middle, the, um, the inside rail, right? So we go around that inside rail and back through on the same, in the same section, right? We're not ready to start into that new section yet. So we pull the yarn through the same section. We know we got to go over that middle, that middle bar, right? We go over that, we put the yarn over that. Like I said, this, 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 this style takes some time to do. So we went over, now we got to go under the outside rail, and we're going to wrap this twice. So right now I'm just holding the yarn down. once. Now we got to go around again. again. We're going around again. And you see how that now the top rail has more space than the inside rail. And this is how I say you have to gauge where you put the extra loop at. So we know we need the extra loop on the outside, right? Wrap that twice. You gotta go under the middle bar and back through. It's gonna start getting tight in here. And that's what we want, because we want it to be tight. So we're filling any gaps. You gotta go over this inner rail. So we go over the inner rail. We're gonna push the yarn down because we want to stay on this side of the rail. Stick the yarn back through. So we're not ready to move on to the new section yet. Go over that middle loop, that middle rail. Go over the middle rail. <clears throat> and then we've got to go under the outside rail and we're going to go around twice. So this is once. And the yarn may shed a little bit. We did it once and we got to do it again. Around one more time. You get to the end. You know this has got to go under that middle rail, so you just stick it under, pull it through, like you've been doing. And as you can see, I'm holding the yarn down, making space. You got to go over the over that inner rail put your yarn through the inner over to make it go over the inner rail and you're going to pull it down to you're going to pull the yarn to you so it can make space you can go right back in there that same section now that we're not ready to move on to that next section yet we need it to be nice and tight make sure there's no gaps you go over that middle rail with the yarn you pull it through So now we just got this right here. So we pulled it through, pulled the yarn back so you can see what we got. And we want to go around this outside rail twice. So we go once, we pull it through. I'm trying to get the yarn so I can make space. There you go. We're going around once. And then we want to go around a second time. Hold it back and then go back in for the second. The second loop. Then we're going to go under, still in the same section on this side. Go under, holding the yarn down. We're going to go under that center loop, that center bar. Go back through. Go 
over that interval, like we've been doing, over that interval. Once we do that, we hold the yarn down, pull it to you so you got that space. You want to go, once we come over, you want to come back through again. This is going to be the last time we come in this section because it's tight. But we got to make sure it's tight because what we want to do, we're going to cover that bar. We're going to cover that joint of bar. We don't want that to show. So now we got to go over the loop, right? So we need to go over that center loop with the yarn. And then over that center loop, we pull the yarn through. And I know this is time consuming, and I know it's repetitive, but if you want to know how it's done, this is how you do it. So now, we have that outside bar, and I'm going to go around that outside bar once. i to pull it down so I can get it through. And I'm going to see if I need to go by twice. But I'm going to do it once first. And then what we're going to do, we're going to push up our yarn. We got to fill it in, right? Excuse me, all the little straggle pieces. So once you take your hand, remember, fluff up your yarn. Fluff it up, push it up from behind, and fluff it up. I don't see any gaps. It's nice and full. The center here is full. This is full. No gaps around the outside. You want to know what? We can move on to the next section. So I'm actually going to flip this upside down so it'll work easier for me at this point. So I will have it upside down and you'll be able to see it this way. So I went. So you was around that, that rail here. We're going to go down. We're going to come under that middle rail. Come over. The inside rail, then we gotta go over. We have to come under the middle, the middle rail, come over that inside rail and back through. Okay. Come back through. You wanna go over the middle rail and then come back through. So I'm just gonna I'm flipping it over so I can get the yarn through quicker. I know we've been on over an hour now. I'm gonna go under the outside rail and back through. And we don't need to go around twice. You no longer need that extra space, right? So we don't need to go around twice, but I am holding the yarn now. We need to make sure it's tight. And we want to come back through here. We went under that middle rail. Now we're going over the inside rail and back through. So let's speed this up some for you guys. Go over that center rail and then come through again. We're on the outside rail, so we're going to go under the outside rail and back over and through. You want to go under the center rail and back through. You want to go over the inner rail and back through. You want to go over the middle rail and back through. You want to go under the outside rail and back through. We're going to go under the middle rail and back through. Remember, this is the repetitive. That's what you've been doing. We're going to go over the inside rail and back through. We're going to go over the center rail and back through. We're going to go under the outside rail and back through. We're going to go under the middle rail and back through. We want to go over this inside rail and back through. Take your time, look at it, make sure it still looks good. So we want to go over that inside rail and back through. Over the middle rail and back through. The outside rail, go under it, and back through. Go under the middle rail, and back through. You want 
to go over the inside rail and pull it back through. I'm going to go over the center rail and back through. I'm going to go under and then back over the outside rail and back through. And I'm trying to do this side quicker because we went slow on this side. I'm just trying to do it a little quicker on this side for time's sake. I know we've been on here for a while. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to go under the rail, the middle rail, and back through. Over that inside rail and back through. Over that center rail and back through. Under that outside rail and back through. Under that center rail and back through. Over that inner rail and back through. Over the center rail and back through. Under the outer rail and over it, back through. Then you want to go under the center rail and back through. You want to go over the inside rail and then put the yarn through. And you want to go over the center rail and back through. And you want to go under the outside rail, over it, under the outside rail, back over it and through. Go under the center rail and through, through the next two rails. Now you have to go over this inner rail and then back through. As you can see, I'm pulling, pulling the yarn back so we can have space to pull the yarn through. I'm going to go over the center rail and back through. Go under and back over the outer rail and back through. Go under the center rail and back through. You're going to go over this inner rail. So you've gone over the inner rail and back through. You're going to go over the center rail and back through. Under and over the outside rail and back through. Then you want to go under that center rail and back through. And I'm pulling the yarn down to make space. You want to go over the inside rail and then come under and back through. You want to go over the center rail and back through. Then you want to go under and then over that outer rail and back through. And I'm pulling the yarn to me to make space. You want to go under the, the, the center rail and back through. You want to go over that inner rail with the yarn, under and then back through. You want to go over that center rail and back through. Uh oh, we got a knot in here. I'm to get that knot out. And we want to go under and then over that outside rail again and back through. We're still in the same section. We have not moved on to a different section. We gotta go under that center rail and back through. Not ready to move on yet. But I do have to get this knot out. So you get a knot in, 
just pull and get them out. There you go. So now it's kind of tight, right? We're going to lay it down. We want to see how it looks. So remember what we do? We stick our hands under and we fluff. And that's tight. There you go. Look at that. Looks great. Is it a little time consuming? Yes. That's why these wreaths may be a little bit more expensive. Just know that because it's more time consuming. So that's tight in there. So we're going to go around the inner rail. Like what we're going to do it one more time. Go around that inner rail. And back through. Go over that center rail and back through. We're gonna go under that inner rail and back through. Under and over that inner rail, back through. We're gonna go under the middle rail and back through. And then we're gonna go over the outer rail. Now at this point, this is nice and tight. I'm done with that section. I want to come under the inner rail and up in the new section. Right? So we're in that new section. We're over the, the middle rail and back through. We're in the new section. Now, remember, which side has more rail now? This side. So now what we're going to start doing, doing the double loops on the outer rail. We've got to fill all this space and you see how tight it's tight in there? So we don't need no double in here. we got to do all single up and I mean, a double down here and all single up here. And it's going to get tight. So we come around this loop once, this outside loop once. Once, push it in, and then we do it again. Twice. twice. Then we go under that inside loop and back through. Then go over that inside loop, that inside ring, and then back through. Then we got to go over the middle ring and back through. We're going over that middle ring. So now we're over that middle ring. We're back to that outside ring. So we want to go over it once. Pull the loop through, the yarn through, and then go over the second time and pull the yarn through. Then we're going to go under the middle loop and pull it back through. We want to go over that inside loop. So we pull the yarn and go over that inside loop. Push it over, and then we come through again. We come over that middle loop, pull it through. We go around that outside loop once, pull it through. We go around that outside loop a second time, we pull it through. We're going to go under that middle loop, go under the middle, that middle bar, and pull it through. We're going to go over that middle bar again. Even though it's been tight in there, we still need that inner bar. All right? And we pull it through. And it gets a little tricky in here. So you just, you just play with it. That's all. You come around this bar here, you go once. And then you go around twice. And then you go up to that middle loop. You go over that middle bar. You go once, you go twice. 
it in there. And actually, you get around once, you know, twice, you go under, you go under that center loop, you go over that inner loop, and you can move them over to make space for your yarn, and then you come under. You're still in that middle, so you still got to feed it through that middle. And move the yarn over. That's what's so good about yarn. You can squeeze it in. You go over that center loop like you've been doing. You come down to that middle. And I'm going to have to wrap this like a couple of times because now we got to make space. Now we got to make up all this space, right? So we come down here, we wrap it once. Cause we gotta, we gotta, we gotta fill space in, and this is how this can happen on the top or the bottom. So that's wrapping it once. We don't want to wrap it too tight. We want to wrap it where it's just gonna fit in. And this is, this is how you play around with it. You wrap it twice. So you go and you wrap it twice. But you gotta cover that point, right? So you wrap it twice. You wrap it a third time. You wrap it a fourth time. And when you wrap it that fourth time, we're going to go back in under that middle bar. We're going to space it out and we're going to go right back over that inner bar, that, that inside bar, right? We're going to go over and we're going to come back on this side of the bar. So we're going to come back and we stick it through. We're still on this side of the bar. So you see how that filled in? So we got to go over that center bar like we've been doing. Under and back over. And we're going to go twice. We're going to go over twice. And we're just about done with the yarn part. Oof, oof. And we're going to do it twice. So we're going to go over that bar again. So we've gone over the bar twice. We're going to pull it back through underneath that center one. And it's tight in here. Just know that it gets tight. But that's a good thing. Because your rail is not going to show. And this is the last time we're going around this. we got to pull it up. Make space. And we're gonna still we're gonna come on that outside rail now. But on this side, we're gonna come on the opposite side of the rail, come under that inside rail, opposite side of the rail. But when we go over the middle rail, we're gonna go over the middle rail on the opposite side. And then we want to see how it looks. If it looks good, it looks nice and full, everything is covered, we're done. Once we fluff everything out, that's done. That's all covered and that's done. We're done with the wrapping part. We take the excess of the yarn, cut it off. My grandson is calling me now. I guess I've been down here too long. He wants me back upstairs now, so we're going to have to wrap this up. He's at the door hollering for me. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he's, he's talking to me. You take these ends right here and you stick them under the yarn. Okay? I'm working, Papa. I'll be there in a little bit. I'm not finished yet. I'm almost. And there you go. So now we take our shine and we put our sign mm -hmm. here in the middle and we see what we want to fit it at. That's my grandson, yeah. everybody. That's yeah. my grandson. Yeah. So we see what we want it here in the middle. Mm -hmm. And I like to flip it over and see where it touches the yarn at. And that's why I put yeah. my You're going to have to go. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't. So 
Okay, so we're going, I'm going to put some glue at the end, right on the edges where I know it's actually touching my yarn. These little areas here, and you got to do it quick because the glue dries really quick. And you flip it over, and you put it right down in the center, and give it a good hold. <clears throat> give it a good hold. I actually turn it over and press it down. That way I know it's holding. Then I take my glue gun and then I go around just to make sure I got in the areas where the yarn is touching the sign really good. Get right in these little creases here. Take my glue gun and get right in these little creases. I may have missed a spot. And let that dry for a couple of seconds. We can start getting our rope ready. I know this is a long video, ladies and gentlemen. I know. I know. That's why I said when you do in this style read, you may want to be in front of your TV. You know, this is uh read that you do when you binge watching something so I take my my hanger and I just find a good spot where I want it to be I open up where the yarn is flip it over I know these ends I glue these ends down with my little I put my little blue thumbs fingers on so I don't burn up my hand more than I already have I take the ends and I give it a little dab of glue, just so it doesn't untwist on me. And then I twist the, the, the ends together, so they stay put. I'm going to tie a knot in it anyway and glue it down, but this is just something extra that I do. You don't have to do this part, I just do it. I take it, with my glue fingers off, and I tie a knot. I'll just tie a knot. Tie a good knot. And then I take this in. When I tie the knot and I open up the yarn, I stick glue down in here. You can't really see it because it's white on white, but I make an opening, stick a little glue down there, not where you can, just the back part of the front part of your yarn, just a little bit, and then I push the yarn down in there with my like glue fingers. I take my glue finger and then I stick the, the end of that yarn in there, and then I cover it up. And see, now that's covered. You see nothing on the front, but the little tie and it's gone in the back. Then I take it and I want to have my, I like my uh, loop here to be like four and a half inches. So you go here, you find a halfway point, and then you go to four and a half inches. So that's one, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, and then that's half. So you go down one, two, three, four, and half. So I know I want it up that high. I bring this back around. I know I'm going to need another couple of inches to tie my loop. So I come down to about here and I cut it off. And this is not something you have to do. You don't have to put any type of loop on this if you want to. You can put a bow on it and be done. You actually can be done at this point. Put a bow on it and be done. This is just me. You want to see how I made it. So this is me. And I'm putting a little dab of glue at the end. I my finger I dropped on the floor. And then I just twist it on itself, try to keep it from unraveling. Like I said, this is an extra step. This is not something you need to do. This is just my way of making sure it doesn't unravel. Then I look Try to find the same location where I put the last, I put the other one at so it looks even. Bring it under. 
and then size it again where you this one, which is half, and you come down four, one, make sure it goes up here, so that's one, two, three, four and a half. And then I tie my knot. Right in here. I will not let me hear really good. You're going to need a lot of it excess because we're going to glue it down. Remember, it gets glued down. I open up the back. Find a spot in the back. Right here. Put a little glue in there. And that's where I stick my yarn down at. Sometimes you gotta find a good spot. Don't move it over there. That's a good spot in there. Just a little bit of glue. Just to hold it down. I take my little glue finger. And then I just stick this right down in there and cover it up. And that way it's covered. All right? You don't see that in, and it gets secure. There you go. So now you have your hook. So that's your hook. Now we're going to do a quick bow and we will be finished. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Or well, maybe you couldn't, you had to go, and I understand. So we're going to do a quick bow. Our tails is going to be about 10 inches. You pinch it, put it up here, and then I want my loop to be a four and a half inches. My first loop to be about four and a half inches. Pinch it, give it a twist, come out another four and a half inches. Let me see what that looks like. I like to have them match up, so I want to make sure I got my loops right. And then you want to give it a twist. And then you want to come into about three and a half inches for the second loops. So you can actually move this and look for the three and a half inch mark. Twist it again. And move the ribbon up for the three and a half inch mark. And then make a tail, which is 10 inches. And if you don't know, you can take your, your ruler, any outside ruler, and go down to 10 inches. Or you can take this one and come down and measure it too. So, whichever one you want to do. That's what we're going to do for this one right here. We're going to do a little thing in the middle. I'm going to show you. You put the zip tie on it with the, um, the white Chanel string. Alright, so we take our zip top, put it underneath the bow, and then we want to take our Chanel stem and put it underneath the bow in between these two sticks here. If you need to see me do that slowly, you can watch some of my other tutorials. I'm just trying to speed through this because we've been up here quite a long time this wreath is time consuming and what I like to do with my bows is I like to try to make sure it's even so I bring my tails down and then I crease my bow and one side looks bigger than the other so being that I've been cinched all the way down I can, I, can, I can actually slide it over and kind of make sure it's even now and then now I can, I can tighten it for this Tighten around to the back, and I tighten, tighten it. Cause now my bows, my loops look even. But sometimes when I do it, the bows don't look like they're even. So I've learned to just not tighten it down too tight until I have matched them up. <clears throat> Take my pipe cleaner, cut off the excess. 
Now what I do is I actually attach, make sure I'm going go away. I attach, this is how I attach it, my bow to my thing. I just turn it upside down, take my pipe cleaners and I put one on top. I pull it so I know where my, my center is. Put one on top, one on each end, each side of the rope. And then I twist it around once, one end. And then I go the opposite direction. If this went over, I go under. So I go under with this side of the pipe cleaner. Bring it up together, and then I twist it onto the side. One, two, and then I do it again. I go over on this side, and back through. And then I go under on this side, and back through. And I want it real, real close to each other. And then I give it another couple of twists. And then I give it another couple of twists. To try to secure that up there. And then I take my wire cutters and I just cut off that excess. And then I fold that down. So now, my bow is secure. And now we have a bow. And I'm going to cut off the dovetail. And I'll even it out. I'm just trying to finish this up for you guys at this point. I'm going to even it somewhere. Yep. There you go. And that would be your Valentine's Day wreath. Just leave it up here. So, that's it. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me. I know this was long, but I wanted to show you that basket weave. Um, it is tedious, it is time consuming. That's why these reefs cost what they cost. I know they look small. I know the frame is from the Dollar Tree, but the time that you put in to make it makes the reef cost just a little bit more because of the time you put into it. So thank you guys for hanging in there and watching the video with me. Please comment. Please share my video. Go on my Facebook. Please like my page. If you like the tutorial, please go to my YouTube. Check out my YouTube anyway. Subscribe to my YouTube. I have plenty of other videos on my YouTube that you guys can check out. Please comment, comment, comment. When you watch, the commenting really helps my page grow. I'm also on TikTok, Pinterest, and, and uh, um, Instagram. So make sure you check that out. So until we got to meet again, guys, thank you guys for joining me. And we, I want you guys to be safe. Bye. Make sure that looks good. Bye.